Hello, I'm David Bolton from Go Parallel, and today I'm going to demo using vectorization and parallelization to speed up a C++ program running on Windows. This is a simple program here, which uh, has three large arrays, A, B, and C. That's here. Uh, each holds 100 million floats. Uh, the program starts by zeroing the A array, then populates the B and C with the random values, and finally it calculates uh, a equals b squared plus c for each of the uh, 100 million values. We're going to use vectorization to um, speed up the program uh, along with parallelization. The uh, IDE I'm using is Visual Studio 2012. Any of the Visual Studios from about 2010 onwards support auto vectorization and I think parallelization has been in for quite a while. Before we can use uh, vectorization and parallelization, we have to do a little bit of configuration. In the configuration properties, select C++ and then code generation. And the two that we need to set are parallel code generation, set that to yes, and the enhanced instruction set. Probably the SSE2 is about the best value to use. If you have a process that's been built in the last three or four years, then it may support AVX, but you may you need to check that. And if, if that is the case, then switch it to there. There's one further step that we need to do before we finish in the configuration. So I've switched to the command line section here. And if you notice, we've got QPAR at the top here, which shows that parallelization is turned on. We want to have reporting turned on, which are these two additional options, QVEC report to and QPAR report to. Those show you when you build the program, which loops have got parallelization and vectorization enabled or in some cases not enabled. So we just add those two there and then we're done and well, we can go and build the program. I've used a combination of if def opt to enable uh, optimization, and within those I've got pragmas for enabling parallelization or for disabling vectorization if the optimization is turned off. There's one further pragma here for, for parallelization, and that's for a loop here, this particular loop here. If this is run without the IV dependency uh, pragma, it runs quite a bit slower. Uh, it isn't able to parallelize that. Uh, you can see this if you try this program and comment this line out, it'll tell you that it's unable to parallelize this. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's build this now and see what it looks like. I've disabled optimization. I've just commented out this line here and I've pulled, I've done the build and you can see here that none of the loops are vectorized or parallelized due to various reasons. These reasons are listed on the Microsoft website, but they're generally reasons like not enough work, no dependency. So there's no optimization at all taking place here. So let's give this a, a run. This takes a few seconds, I think about eight seconds. And that's it. So the average time there is 0.185 seconds, and the total time is 8.37 seconds. I did 10 runs to try and get a reasonable average value for the time. Well, trying to benchmark things on Windows PCs it, uh, it can be problematic. And each one of those runs did 100 million additions, so we've got 1,000 million additions in total. I've uncommented the hash define for opt, so, we, so this is the optimized build. And as you can see from down here, not all the... Uh, the loops are uh, vectorized or parallelized, although the one that I'm highlighting here is just because it's outputting the values and it uh, doesn't seem to like output, uh, optimizing C out. And you can see here loops vectorized and parallelized, but the important thing is let's give it a run and see how much quicker it is. Right, I'm running it now and it's noticeably faster. Uh, in fact, this one took five sec about five seconds less and before it was about 0.185 for each loop. That's about a 20% speed up. Not bad for just multiplication and addition. Thank you for listening to me. This has been David Bolton from Go Parallel.